I've, I've said this before. I, I, I uh, pe people would ask me, knowing what you know now, do you wish like you had a, sec a, a, a third term? Um, and I, I used to say, you know what? If if I could make an arrangement where um, I had a I had a, a stand in, a front man or front woman, and, and they had an earpiece in, and I was just in my basement in my sweats, mm -hmm. looking through the stuff, and then I could sort of deliver the lines, but somebody else was uh, doing all the talking and ceremony, wow. I, I'd be fine with that, because I found the work fascinating. The third term. Scott McKay is here, author of Racism, Revenge, and Ruin. It's all Obama. Mr. McKay, how you doing, sir? Hey, thanks for having me. Glad you're here. So, and thanks for writing the book. So let's let's ask that 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 big question: Is he still in charge? How much influence does Barack Obama have over the White House today? Well, I, I would say, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll make the obvious, easy statement that Barack Obama has more influence over this uh, Biden administration than any previous president has ever had over a successor administration. Um, and that's, yeah. it, it's not hard to, to, to come about that opinion. I mean, I, he's obviously the first uh, former president to choose to live in Washington, D.C., um, which, you know, is like unusual. Everybody else went home after, the, after they finished mm. uh, being president. And this guy went and bought a mansion in Calorama. Um, and of course, the most glaringly obvious uh, uh, piece of video that kind of proves the point was, a couple of years ago when he went back to the White House and was treated as a conquering hero by the people there. I mean, it, you know, that video was bizarre, right? Like Joe Biden's running around the room looking for a conversation and nobody wants to talk to him. They want to talk to the boss. Um, and there's all kinds of things. Like you could go to the border and, and look at the way this administration is performing with respect to that or, or you know, how it's uh, choosing to handle the border. This is something that uh, nobody who's trying to run for re-election would allow the border to be what it is. You would have shut that down a while ago. Um, and instead, like they're doing everything they can to keep that border open, which is a long-term left-wing play to try to get as many um, you know, people into the country who will hook up to the welfare system. And you know, if they're not given amnesty or, or turned into voters, then certainly their kids will be. Um, you know, and this is something you do if you really don't care about the guy who's in the White House and whether he gets reelected should tell you something. And then, of course, there's the personnel is policy angle, because pretty much everybody who runs this administration for Joe Biden is an Obama one. Right. Like these are all Obama's people. And it's different uh, from previous administrations. There's always a mix. Right. Like there's holdovers from the previous administration that, you know, the party in power. Uh, had and then there are like folks that came up with the president. Well, there's nobody who came up with Biden, really. Um, Ron Klain might have been the best example of that, and he was the chief of staff for the first couple of years of this administration. But Ron Klain was an Obama guy, right? He was Biden's chief of staff as vice president, but he was part of Obama's inner circle. And if you don't believe me, the thing to do is to Google Ron Klain and Solyndra. Right. That's that was first term of of Obama's presidency that, you know, the scandal of this solar panel company that that got all this money and then shut down. Ron Klain was like the point man on the Solyndra issue all the way back in 2010. So, you know, and he's probably the best example of somebody that came with Biden. Everybody else, the, you know, whether it's Jake Sullivan or Tony Blinken or Susan Rice or Samantha Power or, or any of these other folks. They're all Obama people, and that's who's running the country. Um, so yeah, this is, it's not even really an argument whether this is Obama's third term. The argument might actually be whether this is Obama's fourth term, given the shadow government he ran for the four years that Donald Trump was president. Hey, that was just a short little clip. The special is over an hour long. You can check out the full thing on thefirsttv.com slash exposed.